Oh, look, this is the one show. We hope you like what we've done with the place. Look at it. With Alex Jones. And Matt Baker. And direct from Vienna, these are my Toso Bayer and Pluto Brioza. Two very beautifully, highly trained and incredibly pampered horses from the world's most famous riding school. And we will be seeing them, oh, won't we, in action a little mesmerizing. bit. Mesmerising. Oh, they they're are. just about to go through into reception so and then onto the news. these are the horses of the Spanish riding school of Vienna. Each of them travels with a full-time groom, as we said earlier, to keep them looking there. Oh, Herwig, thanks for bringing the horses and for joining us yeah, this evening. Lovely to see you. Now, the school has been going for an incredible 450 years, hasn't it? So why is the school so famous and so important in the riding world? Well, it's the only school that kept the classical art of riding alive for these 450 years that mm -hmm. you just said. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are still dates back, the classical art of riding to Xenophon, 400 before Christ and uh, we still train the horses after their principles. I yeah. see. And obviously a very big part of it is the actual breed. Now these are Lipizzana horses. You, you very kindly just hopped off your horse for us here. That's why uh, with the ones just being paraded around here. But why is this breed so well suited, Herwig, to this kind of riding that you're talking about? Well, that breed, which uh, comes out of uh, all Spanish bloodlines, uh, is so good for the Spanish riding group because it fits <laughs> He wants oh, yeah. you back. <laughs> he wants you back. Yeah, well, he wants me back on his back. <laughs> no, but it, it's it's because it suits the, the whole performance, the jumps, the quadrilles. Uh, some horses have enough gates for solo performance or all steps and yeah. movements. So the whole for performance that we have with the Spanish Riding School, you know, we can do with these horses. Yeah. And you obviously absolutely adore the job because you've been there since you were 15 riding, haven't you? Yeah. Um, how do you travel the horses, though? Because you tour all over the world and you're very careful of them. So what does the process involve then when you take them from one country to the other? Well, of course, we take care of uh, who transports the horses, the mm. grooms that come with the horses are the grooms that know the horses already. And we have to take care of them. It's the only ones that are we have. Are they divas, though? <sighs> Some of them are. Yeah, you know? I yeah, thought yeah. they might. Do you know, I was just looking at a shot there of the BBC. This is a first for you, isn't it? To be, to, to be in a situation like this with this floor and everything totally. in this arena. Totally. It's so wonderful that you've done this. It's yes. such a real treat. It took the horses some minutes to warm up, you I'm know, sure, to get yeah. used to the environment here, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is so unusual. I yeah. mean, we are located in the middle of Vienna, the Spanish Riding School, but this is still different yeah. Yeah. Than, yeah. than their home place. Excellent. But now they're fine. They're, they're fine with and them. Hannah, who's just passing here, now she's broken the mould, isn't she? Just explain why then. Well, in 2008, we changed the, the rules, the traditions of the Spanish Riding School, who used to be a boys' club, and since 2008, we also take on uh, women oh, riders or young. Only since 2008. Oh, come on, <laughs> well, at least well, we tried to do it earlier, but yeah. it took some time, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's cool that old. And everybody loves to see a photograph of a fall. Yes. Week. And, and the interesting thing is about the falls of the Lipizzanas is that they're, they're born black. Yes, they're born black and they change twice a year their coat. Mm -hmm. And every year, every time, they change a little bit more white hairs in. And uh, it, Eventually, they look like that. Uh -huh. Oh, they're very nice. Well, can you just explain some of the moves? Is Hannah doing anything specific? There we are. She's yes. going for it. What, can yes. you explain well, what's That happening? is a piaf. That is the most collected exercise on the schools on the ground. So the horse needs to take more weight on the hind end, carry itself, has to be very balanced. And uh, so this is a very high level exercise that she just does. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, isn't it? Work. It's just so majestic. It the is. Way they move. It's wonderful. And a big thank you to Hannah and, uh, of course, to you, Herwig. Do you want to give a name check to your horses? Because I'd, I'd hate to get them wrong. Well, my horse is Pluto Brioza and Hannah's horse is Maestoso Bea. Perfect. That's beautiful. Well, a very big thank you to all from the Spanish Riding School of Vienna for making this happen. And you will be performing live, going on a bit of a tour, at London and Birmingham next month. So thanks for stopping by. Much yeah, appreciated. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.